Oh, what a day it is. And how do you know it's fall? Pumpkin spice is back on the menu. <laughs> Not that cool breeze that you feel early in the morning. Not that dew on the ground that you can see shining real hard. No. Pumpkin spice is back on the menu. And Colorado is playing football. And college football season is back. And we having fun, damn it. I love it. But we're going to get into this Colorado game from last night. Should do a show without. Travis showed out. J5 Feezy showed out. But y'all know them haters out there, but we ain't going to even worry about them. We're going to talk about this game and what's next for Colorado. Let's get into it. Y'all know what to do, man. Before we start, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn your post notification bell on so you know when your boy's going live or dropping this heat or dropping premieres like this. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about, man. Look here, man. Oh, if y'all didn't do the underdog fantasy like I did last night, whoo, you missed out on some good money, real good money. Should do it. Travis, uh, who else here? Jimmy and my guy from Minnesota. Good money last night. A quick $535 off a $20 bet. Don't get no better than that. Man, and do you know on Underdog they had I bet a put a pick, had my should do a pick. They had him. Set at 304 yards, you could either pick higher or lower. Of course, your boy picked higher because, you know, he was going to be dropping them things off all day. And the John Terry Wester, I almost picked higher on him. I picked lower. And I picked lower on Will Shepard. Got everything else right. Travis Wright. Uh, who else? I'm, Good money last night. I appreciate everybody. But you can go to Underdog Fantasy and use my code Big Snacks and get your deposit match too. And that's two Ks with that snacks. Y'all see it on the screen. But whoo, what a game last night. What a freaking game. Colorado wins 31 to 26 over North Dakota State. Barn burn. Beautiful. And it's a lot. I mean, it's a lot. And everybody, everybody is whining over those last two minutes that we was passing the ball with a minute and some change left. And it's understandable, but then again, it's not understandable. Chador said they gave him cover zero, and they did. <laughs> he just underthrew the ball, and he usually makes that throw. But and, of course, we should have ran the ball to run out the clock. But let's get into it. Let's. What do we think about the game last night? What, what drew you to the game? What stood out most to you in the game besides Travis Hunter getting three for 135, Jimmy Horn seven for 199, 198? What, what? What was it for you? Because the world, if you looked on Twitter, a lot of people was rooting against Colorado, wanting them to lose. And I don't know if that was just rooting for the underdog. There was a lot of them that don't like Coach Prime, and that's okay, and wanting him to lose. They didn't want Colorado to lose. They wanted Coach Prime to lose. But if you want Coach Prime to lose, you want Colorado to lose. I don't understand it. You say, I'm not rooting against Colorado. I just want Coach Prime to lose. Well, who in the hell you think Coach Prime is coaching? What school is it? So if you want Coach Prime to lose, you want Colorado to lose. No, I'm going for Shadur. How? How are you going for Shadur? But you cheering against his father. Make it make sense, people. 
I don't know how y'all do it. And as soon as that game was over with, I dropped the video last night and jumped on the road. Out I went. In my truck, gone. Had to go make them drop off. FedEx don't play about their packages. You got to go take them to where they're supposed to be. So, you know. But your boy was back before the sun came up, you know, did his thing. And my son had a football game last night. So we had, I'm at the football game watching my son play, watching Coach Prime's son play, <laughs> and going nuts in the stands for both. My son plays JV and varsity. So got a game tonight, had a JV game last night, won that, got a varsity game tonight, going to win that. So it is what it is. Son's 15 years old, man. 175. Plays middle linebacker and safety. Crushing out there. But back to the Colorado stuff. I ain't going to be bragging on the kid because the kid is nice. His little brother nice too. But uh, overall of this game, great game. Cam Miller for North Dakota State. Beautiful game. You can't, you can't hate on that man for that game. That man was 18 for 22 for 277 yards and a touchdown. Then ran the ball 16 times for 81 yards and two touchdowns. Should do it was 26 to 34 for 445 yards, four touchdowns, and that. That we're not calling that an interception, man. That is not a pick. I don't care what you say. That is not a pick. You know what I'm saying? Can't be. That is not a freaking pick. I don't know what that was. That was the craziest pick that we've ever seen in a game, period. How you throw it and do. It bounced off into the he didn't fell in the end zone. Ch Chador's throwing the ball back to LeJante toward the ground to where only he can get it. And if he misses it, it hits the ground, which is perfect ball placement. But dude has fallen his LeJante in the leg, falls on the ground, ball bounces off of his calf. And bounces up in the air. When I first saw that play, I could have swore that was an incomplete pass. Because I'm like, what y'all gathering around him like he'd have made a pick for us? Dead ball in the end zone. We finna go score. Nope. I looked, I looked at that replay and I was like, oh my God. How did this even happen? You know what I'm saying? Which is crazy. Because it's some of the wildest plays. But then again, it's the first game of the season. And all the wild stuff, crazy stuff like that, usually happens on the first game of the season. It's hard to uh, for something not to go wrong in the first game of the season. But like the offensive line. Offensive line played well. Gabe should do a lot of clean pockets last night. He got... He got some pressure. We can't listen. What I told y'all in this that video a while ago. This was the cohesion game. And they were kind of playing around with some packages. You could tell. They wasn't, they weren't all the way locked in on the packages they were going to run. They was basically somewhat experimenting out there with things. Because, uh, and the defense, defensive line great. played run stopping, stopping the run, and and get they didn't get enough pressure on the quarterback. I want to see a lot more of that. Getting a whole lot of pressure on the quarterback is mandatory. They're going to do it next week in Nebraska. They was fooling around with some packages. Like, they was real comfortable. They'll never come out and tell you this, but they was real comfortable last night in that first half. They weren't never worried about being down. 
They weren't never worried about them getting too far ahead in the first half because they knew they could score quick and nothing North Dakota State could do to stop. They were they were putting in packages to stop the run last night. And they wanted to know that they could stop the run when they need to stop the run. So having a running quarterback makes it a little bit harder. That's something they're going to have to work on. But this week, next week, they're going to be a whole lot better because they got film now. And with that film, they'll be able to sit down and piece stuff together. I guarantee you they've been up since about 4 o'clock this morning watching film, trying to figure out little pieces. They weren't bad last night. Offense wasn't bad. Running the ball, we need more push on the offensive line. The offensive line wasn't great as we wanted it to be. But some of those touchdown passes off the chain. Travis off the chain. Jimmy off the freaking chain. Everybody's talking about Travis. Jimmy freaking home. If it wasn't for Jimmy, Travis don't get three, two of those touchdowns. Because Jimmy put you in position to get both of them. He scored one, put you in position to get two. As much love as Travis is getting, Jimmy should get a lot of that love. Because Jimmy played his ass off last night. And some of those, let's look at some of these touchdowns. And that's the one to Travis right there. And see, that's just Travis, man on man. And that's going to be hard for anybody. Man, man D on Travis is ridiculous. There's, this is like, catch me, fool. And this is Travis's second touchdown back in the end zone. Uh, but Jimmy puts you in position to make that catch. Because Jimmy caught the ball in the middle of the field. And the middle of the field was wide open. Now, this catch right here was a base. Travis Hunter is freakishly good. Look at that. Then wasn't no pass interference on that play. Where is the pass interference on this play? Somebody tell me. Where is the pass interference on this play? Travis stupid. I want y'all to tell me where's the pass interference at on this play. Let's watch this play again. And I want to know right about there that ball is in the air look this man is draped on travis hand on the arm all under his look 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 where his hands at head is not around travis is trying to go to the ball and he's pushing travis back see that arm that arm up under his on his collarbone, up under his neck. Look at Travis's hands. He got both of his hands up, trying to gather the ball with both hands. Catch the ball with your hands, right? And he never took his eyes off the ball. Most receivers would have folded under that because they would have been trying to fall safely and all that shit. No, Travis was go get it and give it to me <laughs> look at that catch and no play the refs were bad last night the refs were bad just horrible they were just bad dog no it was so many missed calls on both sides there was some on colorado side that was missed but there was a lot of holding for north north dakota state Especially in that first half. The first half, they wouldn't call for nothing. Nothing. And I'm watching holding on every play. Like, dude, you got to do something about this. But nothing was done, which is fine. But let's look at a 
think what is this? Jimmy's first catch. Yeah, Jimmy's touchdown. Middle of the field, wide open. Just gone. Nothing you can do about that. Middle of the field, wide open, dog. And it was open like that a lot for Jimmy. I don't know why they stopped going to the middle of the field. That was their all game. First half, second half. That that route or any combination of that route to the middle of the field was wide open. They got all their big yards in the middle of the field. That any version of the Tampa 2 that North Dakota State was playing yesterday, it didn't matter because it's too much skill on the Colorado team. Too many receivers. LeJounte didn't get his yards. Will Shepard didn't get his yards. But they were so focused on trying to take one side of the field away and make them beat them. North Dakota State played to take the outside of, outside the numbers away. But everything in the middle of the field was wide open. Chidozi got, a, got the first sack of the season last night. And it was great. Let's take a look at this. First sack of the game. I mean, that was good push from Chidozi. That's why they call him the block book. Eh, get in there, push, push. Now peel off. Come here. Give you, give me me. That's what he told him. Give me me. That's what he told. Him. Give me me, bruh. But I love it. I like the way we played yesterday. And I know a lot of it was experimental. And everybody is up in arms about about those run yards. I didn't like those crossing routes. And Trevor got beat on that play, but it never happened again, which was good. Trevor didn't get beat like that again all night. And Trevor led the team in tackles with 10. Shallow had nine. And as usual, they did their job. Penalties. Oh my God. Penalties. Shiloh cost us points. Three and out. They was going to get a field goal on that play at minimum, at the most. And Shiloh with that lead. Just like Travis did last, last year in the game, got that penalty. They was three and out, but you give them another 15 yards. That hand to the face penalty, that was kind of iffy because I didn't see him put his hands in his face. He pushed him back, but I didn't see those hands go up. Yes, your head goes back when you fight. But he didn't get pushed in the face. But I'm proud of the defense because they held. They held. Now, last year, they would have lost that game. This year, they held. Last year, on that last drive, it would have been a lot of penalties and a touchdown. Because somebody would have jumped off sides. Somebody would have got a late hit. Somebody would have did something else, a holding or something. Because last year, that was a problem. It was always something with keeping people on the field. It was a penalty. Off sides, roughing the pass. You know, personal fouls everything holding and you just couldn't get off the field you kept shooting yourself in the foot and last night they didn't do that let's look at this uh first travel two one 
This is Travis's crazy catch in the end zone. That crazy. That catch is crazy. That catch is ridiculous. <laughs> this catch right here is ridiculous. Thank you. This catch right here is ridiculous. This catch is ridiculous. Ah. It was all ridiculous. But I feel real good about where we are right now as a team. I know it's a lot of work to do. And I think they got it under control. Like I said, I think it was a lot of experimenting in the first half. Second half was a lockdown half. They gave away six points. And I think that was a fluke. Wrong defense was called. And everybody had their backs turned. Quarterback run straight up the field. Good coverage. Good, great freaking coverage on that man to man. But once that slot receiver crossed and the linebacker turned to go with him, opened the whole field up. And he said, yeah, yeah. Shallow was the only one that could stop him, but he got picked up by the receiver. <laughs> really wasn't nothing you could do about it. But I'm sleepy. I need to take a nap, but I'm not because after I get done with this, Black Ops 6 Beta will be open for everybody. I've been, I've played it. Uh, what was that Wednesday with all the uh, with all the influences I was playing too and that's why I ain't been making no videos <laughs> it's my bad but Black Ops 6 Beta opens up for Labor Day weekend at noon central which is about 45 minutes from now and that's going to be the weekend. I'll be playing back off beta all weekend, going nuts, going ham. But now, let's run this back. Because I really want y'all to put it in the comment section. First of all, I really want y'all to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and all that stuff. I want you to do that first. But I really want y'all to put in the comment section how you think they played last night what are your critiques of the team because i'm i'm telling you i'm telling you i'm about a hundred percent sure that they were experimenting in the first half of that game i'm telling you it was some things going on in the first half of that game we still got to be able to run the ball and i believe we're going to be able to run the ball but I think it was some heavy experiment going on in that first first half, trying to figure some stuff out. But second half, they locked in and got it done. First half was a lot of experiment going on, trying to see what they could and couldn't get away with, what would look good here and what wouldn't fit there. One sack all night on Shadow. Defense held. Got a lot of pressures. I think he's pressured like eight or nine times. Really isn't a lot. That one sack, they want to say it was Shadur's fault, but he rolled out the pocket. He didn't really roll out the pocket. He pushed up in the pocket. And the tackle, the defensive end was sitting there, and the nose guard peeled off, and wasn't nothing he could do. So, but throw the ball away. He could have done that, but he didn't see that. Uh, he didn't. There's no way he saw that nose guard peel off. Because he was looking down the field and he was kind of behind him. But I'm sleepy as shit, man. It is what it is. Over, overall, 
beautiful game last night. And I know people going to say it should have been better. Y'all didn't blow North Dakota State out. All you haters can just shut up. A W is a W. And you celebrate W. You don't cry over W. No matter how you get it, at the end of the day, it's a W. It goes in the win column. We pack that up, get up tomorrow, get up today, and get ready for Nebraska. Now, you got 10 days before the Nebraska. Game. So today is a watch film day. So Saturday is going to be a workout day and probably get together as a team and watch the Nebraska game. That's what I would do. I would get all the squad, especially the whole defense. Defense, I need all y'all over here with me. We're going to watch this game together and see what we can see. Because it's the first game of the season, you know, and – Colorado didn't show a lot. They still got a lot under the hood. You didn't see a lot of LeJante. You didn't see a lot of a Will. Um, Draylon Miller played. Draylon Miller was also starting that run back. He got the first two plays of the game, which was crazy because we knew Charlie was going to play. I thought he was going to start, which I had been preaching all week that Charlie was going to get the start. And then they would rotate back in and out after that. But they started the freshman Draylon Miller, and dude can play football. Well, we already knew that because he from Texas, he right up the street, you know, down there a couple of hundred miles. But he can play football, and he showed last night that hey, I need to be in the game. So didn't see two nine yesterday. Expect him to see him next week, though, because he's a beast. He's a monster. He's a bowling ball. He gets in and hits well. Um, The scoring summary was whack. Colorado gave up, what, 13 in the first quarter. First quarter, three... Yeah, 13 in the first quarter. But they came back and did the same thing. Which was cool. Second half, they gave up nothing. Second half, they scored once in the third, once in the fourth, and gave up that one touchdown. Which means the defense tightened up, settled in. And did they think like i told y'all all this week the defense is on point it was gonna be a little fragile from the jump from the initial start because the team has never played together an actual game an actual game they have never played together before they know they're good but now they know how good they are now, Nebraska's going to be a whole different beast. I don't know. They're going to get Dylan Raul a fix. But like I said, I still don't think Dylan Raul is ready for the moment, but we'll find that out. Um, there should be some picks in that Nebraska game. Should go well for Colorado. Should or should throw for over 300. And they should run for about 150, 200 yards. That game. I believe the running game is going to step up in the Nebraska game because they're going to get a chance to go in there and fix that and get those gaps pushed open and get those holes wide open. Jordan Seaton played phenomenal. Over 50, I think he played almost 50 snaps. Man, he only allowed a couple of rushes, a couple of pressures. So as a freshman starting left tackle his first college collegiate game, Jordan Seaton played magnificent. One. The whole offense. One sack on Shador. Not too many pressures. 
Let's see how many times Shadow was pressed. Mata was scared me with those kicks. Because they were low line drives. And it only takes one guy to stay pressure. Let's see how many times she do his pressure that. And on the rushing yards, let's run through that, and then we'll run through receiving yards. Like I said, Shadu was 26 and 34 for 445, four touchdowns, and we ain't gonna even call that a pick. We don't know what that was. Dallin Hayden had nine carries for 20 yards, which was a 2.2 yard average. So he was leading Russia last night. Shadur had 17 yards rushing. That's the first time in a long time Shadur has had positive rushing yards. Charlie Alcadol had five carries for 15 yards, which is about three yards a carry. Traylon Miller had two carries for seven yards, 3.5. Travis Hunter had a carry that night, one carry for zero yards. That's weird. I don't remember that. But Travis Hunter is special. Very, very, very special because of the way he plays the game. On both sides of the ball. He made a couple of good tackles last night. Let's see, leading receiver was Jimmy Horn Jr. Seven receptions for 198 yards, which was 28.3 yards of carry and a touchdown. Travis Hunter was seven for 132, which is 18.9 yards of carry and three touchdowns. LeJounte was five for 58, which is 11.6 yards of catch. Will Shepard was two for 23, 11 and a half. Dallin Hayden was one for 14. Mm. And that was a magnificent, that Dallin Hayden run needed that first down. Try to offer dog. Uh, I did that. Um, See, and Dre in the middle was two for seven. Right. Trevor Woods had six tackles for assists. Shadow had nine tackles. Levante Bentley had five tackles and a sack. Savion Riley, who came in for Cameron Silver Craig, did a great job last night. Nobody caught the ball on Travis last night. So had, Travis had three tackles. Chidoza had two tackles. One four, one sack. Van Coates had two tackles. Odin Hood had two tackles. Preston Hodge had two tackles. Nakai Green had two. Jeremiah Brown, two. Cam, one. Torian Carter, one. And Torian Carter got that hands to the face call. Chidoze, Chijoke. Chijoke playing that night. LeBron plays. Oh, I didn't see that. He had one tackle. BJ Green had one tackle. That should have been a sack, too. Arden Walker had a tackle. Herman Smith had a tackle. Tafik had a tackle. And Carlos Diamond had a tackle. Well, of course, you know, might have hit one field goal. Mark Snack. Had two punts for 80 yards, averaging 40 yards a punt. So, overall, team played great. You know, and of course, all the hate came out, and it's still plenty of it if you just want to go on Twitter because Colorado Coach Prime and Travis Hunter, and I think Shadur, are still trending <laughs> and games over with but they are still trending. Hell of a game last night in Colorado. I can't wait for next week. And we're going to do some more videos. Um, I still got to get to Coach Prime's media conference 
Shador on the mic, Travis on the mic. I haven't watched any of that or dealt with any of that. Like I said, today is a busy day for me. Uh, besides the Black Ops 6 um, beta, we're going to be on there hard. So if y'all see me online, you're going to get shot in the face. That's all I'm telling you. Block, block, block. We dropping them all. I'm new. On multiplayer? But y'all don't want none of this. Holla at your boy. These thumbs. These thumbs. The old man thumb. Oh, they get busy. That's all right. I'll let me. Join my. Go on over there on my Twitch. You know, it's big snacks. Go on over there on my Twitch. You know, it's ready. But I'll be on the Black Ops 6 heavy today. Doing the thizzle, and uh, we're gonna be on some other stuff too. Um, and I got to take my daughter to get got her new brace, new knee brace in there. As you know, I think I told you guys she had her surgery earlier this year, and still trying to get that knee back right. It's gonna be a minute, you know. You tell that thing. Ask, ask the old man, he know. Told both of mine. So the left one and the right. So it is what it is. When ACLs get it, they get it. And it hurt like hell. Hard coming back from that. When she tore her ACL and her meniscus. At the same time, two surgeries, a lot of rehab, still rehabbing. Two, three times a week at the facility rehab at home every day because it takes a lot to get that knee back in order and so we're gonna get her fitted for a new brace today and get that done got the brace already um I'm tired of that big bulky brace so we got a new one but y'all let me know man we got a lot of videos to do we will do them over the weekend because I know right now y'all inbox flooded, flooded with Colorado stuff. But appreciate y'all, man, so so very much. Uh, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and do your boy a solid. You know we working our way to twenty k subscribers. Seven year, eight year break off of YouTube, man. You gotta come back and see who really love. It. And I appreciate all y'all support and everybody for watching my videos, even my old subscribers. I got subscribers on here years ago, and they are. Since I started back uploading this year, they've come back, and I appreciate y'all very much. Can't get me on Twitter, not on my personal Twitter, like I told y'all the other day. I don't know, them people at X, man. But I still use my Yash account, my company account, so... If you see some tweets about me on there, that's from me. Just tweet them out because I can't use my personal and I can't say some of the stuff I would say in my personal account. That account. But so I use the Yash Network account and make it do what it do. But I appreciate y'all for watching, man. Thank y'all for the support. Thank y'all for the love. I appreciate everybody that's been dropping the super chats and the super stickers on the video i appreciate it all man appreciate everything but you know boy come come back bigger and better than that we all know how to do we ain't done we just getting started i need to hang my youtube button up it's in my son room he loves it he's more happy about it than i am and i don't want to take it off his wall so that's why my uh play button ain't up visible but it don't matter i've had it for years both of them but it is what it is man great game last night colorado wins 31 to 26 the haters gonna hate i appreciate y'all for watching y'all have a great evening we'll see y'all when we see y'all we out peace